The aircraft carrier HMS Invincible was the flagship in the Falklands War in 1982. She was decommissioned in August 2005. Her three battle ensigns were raffled to the crew for good causes on return to the UK from the Falklands in 1982. Tim Orton, an engineer on HMS Invincible, was one of the winners. Mike and Anne Piankowski met Tim in Montserrat, where he had settled, in 2016. He was already planning to restore the tropical dry forest, a globally threatened ecosystem, on his land. So he gladly accepted an invitation to become one of the first to join the UK OTCF Montserrat National Trust project Adopt a Home for Wildlife. During one of our visits, Tim explained how he came to possess the ensign of HMS Invincible and asked us to investigate whether some institution in the Falkland Islands would like it. The Falkland Islands Museum's director, Andrea Barlow, was delighted at being offered the ensign, particularly as they were preparing a special exhibition in 2022, the 40th anniversary of the Falklands liberation. During our visit in October 2021, Tim presented Mike Piankowski with the ensign. The uh, battle ensign from HMS Invincible in uh, 1982 Falklands conflict. Um, I'd be grateful if you could pass that across to the uh, National Trust of the Falkland Islands. So, yeah, and yeah. the museum there. We'll, yes, please. We'll certainly uh, yeah. get that on its way in, in a rather strange route. On return to the UK, we unfolded this huge flag in front of one of Peterborough's war memorials. We made arrangements to take the ensign to the Falkland Islands Government Office in London to hand over to the Falkland Islands Government Representative, Richard Hislop. Well, um, Richard, on behalf of Tim Orton of Montserrat, um, uh, he, he asked me to deliver this uh, to you here uh, in the Falklands Government Office so that you could arrange to get it on to uh, the Falklands Museum. And we're very pleased from UK's East Territories Conservation Forum to be um, acting as a link between two territories. It's a rather unusual sense yes. for us. So may, will you accept that for him? Well, thank you very much. It would be a real honour to accept this and we will make sure it goes to the museum. Uh, it's very, very timely with next year's 40th anniversary to be receiving such a special white ensign and we'll make sure this goes to the museum um, in time for next year's anniversary. So thank you very Excellent. much. Excellent. Thank you. Everyone is very grateful to Tim for generously donating the ensign to the Falkland Islands Museum. UK OTCF is delighted that it has been able to make this rather unusual link between Montserrat and the Falkland Islands by helping the transfer of the battle ensign.